All right, folks, let us try to access some of the resources given by Northeastern Hill University remotely. During the lockdown, we cannot access, therefore, they have provided this option for us. Uh, we'll go to remote access, to right click on it. It'll take you to, the, to this page. You enter your credential given and provided to you by the Central Library of Nehu and your login, and then you try to log in. After logging in, it show here that you're off campus and you can access to this subscribe content. Now remember, this credential has to be provided by your library. And here are the list of all the content, the e-resources subscribed by any university. Now here, I'm gonna show to you one example of how to extract data from one of the bibliographic database that is the Web of Science. So I'm going to click here, detail and help. And then I'll click on here to the link. It'll take me to new tab. Here, it leads me to this Web of Science uh, website. So here, I'm going to select a database first. Now I'll take all the database. And let's say I wanted to look for all publications that particularly coming or associated with Northeastern Hill University. So I'll choose my, I can take any topic. I can take the title using keyword here take the title or the name of the author you know by you know trying to understand the citation pattern of the author and that of an institution also and you can search suppose machine learning or you know uh, library science professional competency so on and so forth you, can, you basically you can use any keyword to look within a topic so that way you can analyze uh, using this bibliometric data so here I'm going to take the address because anything which is associated with Northeastern Hill University publication. So I'll take for the last five years because and I'll take from all the database and I'll go for search. So it is understand important to understand that you can go for basic search in Web of Science, cited reference search and advanced searches. So these are some of the few searches which uh, the options they're giving you here. Now these are the record of all the file on the left a row you have here the result of 765 publication coming from Northeastern Hill University that is for the last five years I have a hit of 765 article so I don't want to go for any further filtrations like publication year database on the left row you can see that you can also see here on the right row there's some analyzed result will well, show you a graphical representations of this data which are here you can create a citation report out of this and this data will be very useful for your research but anyway since I'm going to take I'm only going to show you how to extract data this is what I'll do if I select only the page it will give me the download of only this page 10 records from the first page but here I have added to the mark list a record from all record on page 765 record I'm adding all record basically it's adding record now to the mark list let me go to page number two here and see whether they have put this tick button here or not I'm going to page number two it doesn't show you see it only ticked the first option so what I'll do is in order to get all the 765 I'll take a record wise initially I clicked here all record on page it gives me only that pages the record which is on that first page now I'll click here and since I'll take that 765 records altogether I'll try to add here I'm marking all the 765 records which are associated with Northeastern Hill University as an institution now you see and this is the second page right here 11 is ticked let me go to the third page third page currently yes gonna write this is the third page of 77 pages third page these are all tick tick mark 21 tick mark 22 so now I'll have to export it so if I clicked here record content I'll need the author title and the source 
and in which format I want I will need it in plain format I can also go for HTML and auto references software format for me to be able to analyze it in whichever software references where I want in the footer also the footer here at the bottom you will find you can export to other format here also it will give you the same thing in which format you want it if I click other references sources nothing is there but anyway plain text is one of the very useful form tab delimiter also is one of the very useful form if I go on tab delimiter for window option click on from 1 to 500 export it it is sending the 500 records to my desktop to my download file so this is basically how I download using uh, the various option the various file type extension which is available in web of science but mind you it can only export maximum 1 to 500 record it cannot go beyond that if there if there is a record that is more than say 10,000 20,000 you have to take 500 at a time so that is how you export it gives me if you see here and I download option below Saved, re saved record 1.txt that is the file that is downloaded and it, it comes in text format I can download it in plain text format also but the choice is up to you depending on how you're going to uh, analyze your data on which software platform you're going to convert your data to so depending upon the other variables you download your file accordingly so I hope this helped thank you